uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video um, hi guys in the uh, last video we added this three uh, folder in this video we'll go ahead and run this project and see how it is displaying the default home page. So let me go ahead and uh, click here. Uh, before I go into do it, I'll show you. Uh, we need to go ahead and select this folder as our startup uh, startup project if you have not selected as a startup. So once you select a startup project and you go there, uh, you need to go ahead and build the solution. So we are now building this solution and you can see the result is that three succeeded and zero failed. So now uh, you can also come over here. You can choose one of these uh, item. I'm choosing Express and let's run it on Express. So the page is loading and the page loaded and you can see our project name Jai Tech Web and we have home privacy uh, register and login option here. Uh, so yeah, uh, this register and login option we are getting it uh, default uh, defaultly because when we are uh, so creating this project we select uh, individual uh, uh, individual setup for the account so that's why we are getting it so for now what we're going to do uh, we'll go ahead and set up you know uh, database access folder and then under this folder we'll go ahead install identity entity from framework and uh, let me show you how we're going to do. So we're going to select this folder, uh, go to tools, go to package. Okay, we need to click on stop first. Once you click on stop, then we go here, uh, go to new get package, go to here, type, I D D T dot N T T. Okay, Microsoft SP dot net code of this one. I will go ahead and install on here and here as well. And then this is seven point ten. Maybe uh, you would see the latest version when there is available. For me, this is seven point ten is the latest one. Okay, mm, so click on installed, uh, apply, accept, and it is getting installed. Now we're going to install SQL Server. SQL. Okay, this is SQL Server. Let's do click install. I accept. Now we're going to install the tools. If we do not install this, then we cannot run the command add migration command and update database command to run it if we do not use tools uh, install then it will not recognize the command so let's install it as well
uh, now you can see uh, we have installed uh, we have installed identity entity framework uh, entity framework SQL server and then the uh, tools for the entity framework so let me go ahead and close this also we had installed the same tools for our uh, uh, web page as well so let me close it now what are you going to do we're going to go ahead and create a class under this folder so let's go right click on it come here go to add create class let name the class name application D context class and click on it okay so now here I'm gonna put public instead uh you know instead internal maybe context class to inherit it inherit all the uh, properties and function from identity to context class let's implement it I db context uh, now we'll create a constructor of this let's right click on this line go here and you can see constructor with the db context and then the parameter is option so select this one and now we see that identity db context class has created all right so now we'll go ahead in our next video uh, we'll go ahead create a model class under this folder so then we can add that class to db set so then we can access all the properties of that class using identity db context so let's wait for the next video. Thank you.